Evening guys, Terry Bartlett here with another blog video, another vlog, sorry, not blog. Well, people and blogs, if you, whatever you call it. Just thought, sorry about um, Sunday, uh, because there was no one there at Stewart's Lane. So here's what's been going on so far in Great Britain, here in my country, in London. And as you know, well, as you might have heard, that mo most celebrities keep passing away. I don't know why, but um, it's it's very it's very heartbreaking. I mean, well, Prince, I he's a good singer, is a good singer, especially when he does his magic magic fingers. Each time he touches a magic, what what am I supposed to say? Each time he touches an instrument, he he fires out a big blast of music that hits your heart, tugs on your heart, and gets your dan gets your dancing techniques going. But anyway, that's that's that out of the way. And in other news, good news is Braunton, aka what well, as Lord Dowding, as she'll be posing as for the foreseeable future until what well, till the mid. 2016 she'll be back as Braunton she'll be pulling a, a football special from Clapham Junction my local station which is just up the road from Clapham Junction to Southampton organized by Jeremy Hoskin well done to him because he's the co-owner of Crystal Palace Football Club it's their special outing and I'll be filming that from platform 16 at Clapham Junction and I like to thank those who have commented on the first vlog YouTube video I'd like to thank you all for doing that and supporting me every step of the way and Jessica Taylor thank you very much and I don't really usually carry my phone or camera around very much because I usually do my video recordings here in my bedroom so it's plus I've got me laptop here so that's me laptop I always use that for recordings but Tomorrow, tune in tomorrow, I'll be doing a journey video, just thought you would let you guys know I'll be doing that. From Lewisham to Bank, I probably might do another one as well, do an underground video, like an underground travel video from Bank to, well I don't know where, any, anywhere it's possible. If those of you who are living in London now who love transport, let me know in the comments section below of what you guys think of London Transport. If, if you don't like London Transport, that's good enough. Then you get to use your legs here. You get to use <laughs> you get to use your legs to walk around London. It's walking's fine. It's good exercise. Get get good fresh air and despite it not being not raining, but if it's raining, you have to need to carry an umbrella. That's a predicament. But you need London Transport to get it, get around the capital as I do sometimes, but I usually just walk it. <laughs> if you're not walking, you, you're missing everything. And, well, next Tuesday, I'll be going down to Stewart's Lane to prepare a tornado for the train, for her Pullman train to Bristol, which is on a Wednesday. It, an old boy steam, if you're watching this one, I know you'll be at Chiswick. And I'll hopefully be on the train in the support coach if the RO lets me. I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. I can't pester them too much. And, um, <clears throat> and also story time videos. They are hard to come up with. And Plus I might do a Q&A video. If you guys want me to do a Q&A, just leave a comment in the section in the below. See if I can respond to that for you. And also, during this vlog, I could do a steam locomotive review for you. Now, this first review I'm going to do now is all about my personal favourite locomotives. The, the, bullied, the bullied Pacific locomotives. Not just light Pacifics, but the Merchant Navies, West Countries and Battle of Britons. All in the same performance league. All in the same class. Now, the first... Of in, 19, in the 1930s, when Oliver Bullard took over a CME in the 1939 as Chief Mechanical Engineer of the Southern Railway, which I live locally, 
the southern region needed a new fleet of locomotives, so Oliver Bullard came up with a freight locomotive, an 060 tender engine. We'll have to include that because that's the most powerful 060 ever to be built. It was for war, the war effort, but then Bullied, in fact, found himself in hot water because he built p express engines when they were boycotted because this was the Second World War. And in 1941, the first engine emerged was the Merchant Navy class, number 35001 channel packet, which is the prototype of the class. Sadly, that ain't preserved, sadly, which is a disappointing that ain't preserved. Only 11 Merchant Navies are preserved, including, well, Clan Line, as you see back at Stewart's Lane, but she's a crew, she'll be back next year. Now, here's Clan Line's past. She was built in 1948, the birth of British Railways. She's a British Railways engine. And she was rebuilt in 1959. Most of the light Pacifics were came after the Merchant Navies. Now you've got the Battle of Britain class to feature, it, named after Battle of Britons that served in World War II and famous figureheads like Winston Churchill, Lord Dow, uh, Winston Churchill, Lord Dowding, a fighter pilot and also different places that served in the Second World War. West Country class engines were named, well they're the same engine but named after West Country locations and villages that down in the West Country in Devon. And that is it. But then there was one more locomotive that Bullied had to build before he left the Southern Region, which was his leader class. That looked like a diesel, but in fact it's a steam engine. It burns coal. It looks like a diesel, even if I've seen it. I haven't seen it. Well, I've seen it in magazines and pictures of it. And I thought everyone would, every one of you might have thought, oh look, that's a diesel. It ain't. It's a steam engine. <laughs> yeah, but it does look a funny sort. But one of our society members obtained a whistle. That belong to the leader class number three six double o which it well i should say or was it three six double o one yeah three six double o one which is the leader class pity no more were produced only none of them were preserved none of them were which well you still got the whistle that's been preserved that's that's a good thought yeah what else is there about the bully pacifics they were all streamlined with a air smooth streamlined casing, gave them the nicknamed spam cans, which looks like a tin of spam, but <laughs> it's a funny nickname for an engine. Most of them were rebuilt just due to the uh, problems they had with the oil bath. Bullied had his own chain driven val valve gear, which caused a lot of problems with the merchant navies and some of the light pacifics the light pacifics will have a smaller boiler than the merchant navies the merchant navies had a big boiler the uh, west country's battle of britain's had a smaller boiler but most of them were rebuilt during the 1950s all the merchant navies were rebuilt between 1956 and 59 clan line was the last merchant navy to be rebuilt in 1959 as the condition she runs in today now also uh, there was one engine that was scrapped and it was supposed to have been preserved that was a rebuilt design of a battle of britain class number 34052 lord dowding but the good news is jeremy hoskin thanks to him he's willing to rename braunton to one of the battle of britain pacific classes because we well, named after the long lost member of the class, but she will run as that for, for the simple future and then she'll rename them that will rename back to Brompton. I do like her as she is, and um, Lord Dowdy will be a good, well, YouTube video to produce. Depends on what Clapham Junk should be like that day, it'll probably be the rush hour, but I'll be going down there early in the morning on platform number 16 which is a good start head start because that way I get to film the loco been pull, pulling in with the train and lucky DB Cargo has been given the honour to drive the end 
the engine and train down to Southampton. And hopefully I'll be on Tornado's train in the, on the 11th of May down to Bristol for this for the next YouTube journey video, which is which just like the tornado around the Surrey Hills, but the Bristol trip that will be a perfect run. Guarantee that'll be a good run. And during this vlog, I want to say show my supports to Trisha Paytas, who's a an actress, not an actress, a singer and performer. Exactly, she's a vlogger as well. So, so hello, Trisha. This is Terry from my, my Facebook page. I can't put my pictures of myself due to reasons, but I can still put pictures of steam engines on my Facebook page if you want to, so you can have a look at them. What, what else have I got covering this vlog? Ah, oh, yeah, updates. Updates on Steam specials. Now, as I said, there's a private football special from on the 15th of May. That's a Sunday. Uh, good. So hopefully, it should be sunny by then. It won't be rainy for Braunton. It'll be a slippery departure. <laughs> Can't jinx that. And to those of you who love vlogs and even, even though you don't like, well, if you don't like steam trains or any other type of trains, well, I don't mind at all. So that way you could, I can still talk to you guys. I could do a live stream if you want me to. I can have a chat with you guys on YouTube. But no rude comments because I don't like people being rude to me because I've got a high temper. And I don't, and I like to keep myself in control of my temper because I've got enough on my head at the moment. Plus I've got college on Thursdays, plus the, the 12th of May is my exam, my maths exam. Apparently when, when I did my maths test, my mock test, I passed it, passed the mock test. 37 out of 48, not bad at all. Well, I could still get there if, if I gave it a bit of a, bit of a push. Um, what else is there? Uh, ah yes. Um, there are more, well, as you know, you heard about the Southern Railway strike due to driverless trains only campaign by Southern, which to me, that is not a good idea because if they put driverless trains, driver only trains without conductors and guards, that will cause a bit of a hassle. Bit of a bitch, really. But it is a hassle because otherwise you're, you're inviting crime on the train. Fair dodgers can get on the train. Without a ticket. No, it's totally ridiculous. So if Southern Railway is watching this, please don't put the conductors and guards, leave them where they are. Just leave them alone. God blimey. As everyone said on LBC, the whole world's gone mad. Everyone's gone mad. I mean, school's been turned into academies? That is highly unorthodox. I mean, I used to go to Garrett Park School. That is a perfect school for your children. Not only for year sevens and so forth until year fourteens. I definitely wish I could visit that school again because I've had lots of memories down there. Plus, I did went camping with them to the Bluebell Railway. That was a long time ago and I did see Blackmoor Vale, number 34023. This is the subject of Bullet Pacifics, guys. This is the subject of Bullet Pacifics, because my personal favourite engine. Tang Mia, she's been, as you know, in, in on video, she's been sent off back to Carnforth for repairs. And West Coast Railways, this is also in the railway news, that West Coast have been asked to be moved out of Southall by hopefully, well, by the end of the summer, by the summer, I'm not too sure. But where does that leave rail to businesses and rail to operators like Steam Dreams? On the I did say something on their Facebook page about this, and they said they are well aware of this, and then they're going to co cope with the changes, and hopefully they might give back because the contract ends with West Coast in December by Christmas with West Coast so they can go back to DB Cargo the following year so next year hopefully Clan Line will be hauling the Cathedral's Express if there is any well despite 
be engaging issues. I'm sure Network Rail could sort it out, sort it out, then get it sorted. And the next part of this video is well, I like I do well in this story. To tell you the truth, guys, I do have a fantasy. My fantasy life has probably gone overboard. I do imagine falling in love with people transforming into animals. That is, I, I'm admitting to I'm admitting to this to you guys. I'm opening up to you guys about it. If you have any comments on that, just leave a comment and then I'll try and answer it as best I can. But keep it within the keep it leveled so I can understand it. Because I have autistic spectrum disorder, guys. If you want to know about my story, I could tell you all my story another time, but not now. Because of tomorrow, I've got to do that YouTube video for you guys the Docklands Light Railway. I'll be going on that. That would be a good railway to go on to, because I haven't been on it since I was a teenager. I've been on it once, well, a couple of times, going up. It's a, it is a nice railway, it is a nice railway, even though the trains are operated by computers. And the conductor drives the train if he has to, if it's necessary. If he feels that the train is, isn't working properly, if the computer can't get, a, can't get it to move, so the, the conductor, he jumps in, uses his kit, Allen key, opens up the control panel and then takes the controls of the train, opens and closes the doors as well. It's a nice thing to do. And I do support TFL, Transport for London. They're supporting mini cab, well, black cab drivers, cab drivers. No, I'm not into taxis myself, but they are nice people, taxi drivers. They, get to know them, they know their knowledge around London. To become a taxi driver, you need to get know your knowledge around London. And also, in other news, Big Ben, as you know, is going to be silented for an overhaul. So that means during for, for during the new year, we'll have to do a they'll have to do a recording of Big Ben chime in the hour. And I, and it's going to be painted in its original colours when it was first built in the eighteen hundred in the nineteenth century. It's a nice nice Big Ben. Well, I do like Big Ben near the Houses of Parliament. I don't. To tell you guys the truth, I'm not that much into politics. Politics is not my thing. Because politics, to me, what you heard about about Ken Livingston, I can't believe you actually said that. Just can't believe it. I did support Ken Livingston. I do. I did like him, but don't know what to think of him no more. He's just. It's like his brain's been twisted. During his old age, he's been twisted around, and, and that's not good enough. So, lucky Labour suspended him. Labour to me, and Jer Jeremy Corbyn is a nutcase. It, to those of you on LBC who are watching this as well, <laughs> yeah, and Nick Abbott, I know you might be watching this. You get to, well, you get to play the I'm a nutcase. Audio, the LBC sound effects that Nick Albert produces makes us laugh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love those. And, well, yeah, because during my lifetime with trains, it's a big thing going on with trains, buses, coaches, underground tube. Plus, there's a new TV show. I think his name is Paul Merton Secret Stations. It shows request stops. Now that I can be well familiar with with request stops because when I when I used to go on holiday with my family down from Clapham Junction down to Exeter St David's, then jump on the train from Exeter down to Exmouth, that was a sort of thing I love doing. And plus the request stops. Like Limpstone Commando, that's another request stop. Exton, that's another one. You get to put your hand out for the train. It's like putting your hand out for a bus because, as you know, the class one four three paces. They are uh, buses on rails. Buses on rails. <laughs> Rail buses. <laughs> that's a nickname for them for the paces. But the one four two paces, I do like those things. A bit bumpy. They have a bus bus seats from an old route master. Don't know where they got those from, but they built them anyway. 
they built them. Looks like a bus. <laughs> That's because they are a bus. A rail bus. <laughs> if you guys get that joke, uh, get my drift. Yeah, I do support you guys that cereal wise, Cocoa Pops, uh, I, I used to eat that myself, but I don't know, I eat crunchy, not cornflakes, plus I eat shredded wheat, good for your heart, keeps your brain going too. So if any of you have cereal for breakfast, have some shredded wheat, if you don't like it. I'm not telling you what to do guys, I'm just advising. If you don't want to take my advice, just, just don't. Just do whatever you need to do. Do whatever you want to do. But don't go committing crime. Not good. If you commit crime, you have ruined parts of your life. Enjoy life. Enjoy it while, while it lasts. Enjoy life. Enjoy getting a job, getting a paid job, getting paid, get lots of money, have a wife and some kids, have a pleasurable night with a girl or some sort. Whatever you want. Do whatever you want, guys. Anyway, I've got to get ready for bed soon because I've got to get, get up in, in the morning to go out at half past nine in the morning to get on the train from Victoria down to Lewisham so I can start the video. For live stream wise, I'll do a live stream. It be The live stream will be called about steam trains, your favourite steam locomotives. And if you want to know the history on them, I'll try and look up the history books. See if I can get any history on the different types of class that you love. Like for instance, I'll be doing reviews. I did this review on the Bullet Pacifics. They are good engine. Like the preserver, the preserved ones today. They are Tor Valley, Braunton as Lord Dowding when she when she comes back into steam. Clan Line. That's another loco I work with. As you know, I work with that loco. Good engine. The Peppercorn A1s. I can do one for you though one for you because tornadoes are peppercorn a1 i could do a re review on that plus the peppercorn a2 which is the next step up from the a1s which is blue peter she's at crew for an overhaul i hope to be back in steam thank god she's going to be back in steam plus there's the britannias if chris eating green's watching this i i know you did steam locos in profile and that, that other was buy your dvd i'll try and see if i could buy your dvd see if i can have a go watching that and I was on the steam logos in profile a4 Pacific episode I was on that one as well because I was at King's Cross went seeing Union of South Africa because that's another engine I like another engine I love the a4s good engine so better wrap this one up guys I'll see you tomorrow that my next block my next vlog will be hopefully tomorrow including the DLR video. I won't include it in that. I'll just do separate ones. Do a vlog video and then do a all the other way round. DLR video first, then the vlog video. I'll, I'll keep watching the news, see what comes up, and I'll inform you guys. If you guys watch the news, feel free to watch it. All right. Good night, guys. See you in the morning. <laughs>